Hi, in this tutorial, we will add a cable to the elastic swaying object, uh, which I did for a previous tutorial. You can find a link to that tutorial in the video description. Now we begin by adding a new empty to the point of contact between the cable and the cube. Next, we will add a curve and hook its vertices to the support empty and the new empty. All right, so let's get started. All right, so first of all, I'm going to move the 3D cursor right in the middle part of the top face of the cube. So select the cube, hit tab, and let's type 3 to go to the face mode. And let's select the top face, hit shift S on the keyboard, and let's select cursor to select it. All right, so let's go back to the object mode and let's hit shift A. Let's head over to empty and select plane axis. And next, uh, let's set the size to 2 meters to make it more visible. And let's parent it to the cube. So uh, press shift and select the cube and hit control P on the keyboard and choose object keep transform. And next, we want to add the curve, uh, which is going to be the cable. So let's hit one to go to the front view and let's hit shift A and select curve and choose Bezier. Next, I want to head over to the properties box and let's rotate uh, the cable uh, 90 degrees on the X axis and let's do the same for the Y axis. And next, I want to move the curve so that it is right in the middle between the two empties, okay? As you can see, it is eight meters and uh, I can count about five meters all the way to the top empty. So in between will be 2.5 added to the current position. So let me do that quickly. And next, I want to add some thickness to the curve and this will allow me to see, uh, to make it easier to work with. Okay, so let me make sure I'm in the curve uh, properties. Let's head over to geometry and then let's uh, set the extrude value to about 0 0.05. All right, now, as you can see, this is uh, not uh, as visible as I wanted it to be. And this is because the curve is facing away from the uh, viewpoint. So let me rotate this about 90 degrees. So hit R, Z, 90. Great stuff. And um, let's uh, head over to the edit mode. And I want to make sure that the interpolation between both control points is a vector. So hit A to select everything. Go to control points. And let's set the handle type to vector, okay? And this will make sure we have no curve between uh, the two points. All right, next, we want to move the uh, first point uh, to meet the empty at the top and the bottom point to meet the empty at the bottom. So I'm going to zoom in a bit. And let me turn on the snap mode. And let me select the top vertex, hit J, and move it till it meets the top empty. And let's do the same for the bottom. All right, next, I want to hook the uh, control point, the top one to the top empty. So I'm going to go to the object mode. Let me select the top empty. Uh, let me hit or press shift and select the curve. And let's go to the edit mode by hitting tab. And let me select the top control point and head over to the control points menu and head over to hooks and select hook to selected object. Now, um, as you can see, if I go to the object mode, select the empty and move it, uh, you can see the top vertex is hooked to the uh, empty. And uh, now let me do this for the uh, bottom vertex. Let me select the empty first, and uh, let me hit shift and select the curve, go to the edit mode, select the control point, and let's head over to control points and go to hooks, and select hook to selected object. All right, now let's test this out. Great stuff. All right, so now let's test this and make sure everything is working fine. So I'm going to uh, play the animation. And as you can see, uh, the curve is hooked to both empties. All right, so I took some time to add uh, some background walls. So let me turn them on. Uh, let's head over to the uh, scene collection and let's turn on the background collection. And uh, let me also um, go to the camera view because I've reset the camera to a good view. And let me turn on the shading mode. And let me turn off the show overlays. 
and let me play this from the beginning again and as you can see this looks really really cool all right so that is all i will do another follow-up tutorial and add some follow-through animation to the cube okay thanks for watching and make sure you like this video and please subscribe to my channel and uh, turn on the bell notification to be notified when i release a new tutorial